All right, guys, we're back on the bench today, and uh, I decided to do something a little different. Um, I've never tried to, I'm new enough to the hobby where I haven't really tried to reclaim uh, tires yet, tires and rims. So what I did, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, so what I did was I did the acetone method. Now I'll get 100% acetone to my recommendation. And what I then did was took um, one of these Rubbermaid containers. Um, they're okay for the acetone in them. And um, I put a little coating on the bottom and I let it sit for two days. That's all I've done. Shook it a couple times. But you can see this tire was already half done. And we'll see how good they clean up. I might have to peroxide them afterwards. But the intention is just to see how good, easy, or hard this is. Because I got some more tires to put on. So we'll see. Um, oh, look at that. Now these were glued real, real tight. And uh, that worked perfect all i did was like i said let them sit for two days and it absolutely ate it all away so that's awesome um food for thought that's the first time like i said i've never done it before so it's first time for me to try even try it um, but let me get these cleaned up and then we're going to use these new tires um now i got these from uh one of our sponsors it's a test driver you can go check him out he sells these on this page uh, link will be in the description but we'll uh get these cleaned up real quick and we'll get them on and um, yeah, I, I thought I'd have to scrub, so this is gonna be a really short video. What I might do is, uh, so we also got some parts in, so this will be the next video that's coming out. We got our new J Ride, uh, Jazz Rider uh, from Cups from when we broke the uh, Terra Scorcher, or whatever you wanna call it. You can have all the other bling on there. So that'll be the next video. So let me, uh, let me get some alcohol out and clean some of that up. I might peroxide them first, scrub them a little bit. And then we'll uh, put these on. And then I got I got a plan for them. Um, these are going to go on this car. So um, that'll be next. I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> Quickly clean these up. Ended up just using the acetone um, just to clean them up a little more because it did a pretty good job. They look good enough for our first first time with them. So we're going to use some J Concepts. These are 2.2s. soft compound which which will be good for uh, our carpet track we'll end up using like I said we'll end up using these with our hair scorcher they come with sponges the front ones we'll use the ones that go in we actually gonna use the ones that go out I'm not gonna glue them at first um, see how they go because the, the terror scorcher isn't very fast so really guys I expected to have to do a little work on these um, so that's that's my uh, experience first time doing acetone wow that looks good that looks pretty good so we'll get some nice tires set up see how easy that is piece of cake now maybe later I'll go back through and do a beta bit of a glue. I haven't decided yet. Again, this is it's a brushed Tamiya, so I'm not exactly worried about blowing tires out and I ain't probably gonna take it to the track. And then these ones are AKAs. They're um, the Evo type. Um, red inserts. See that in there. Pretty nice. Nice and soft. Remind me of the um, Dark Impact. Doesn't matter which side goes where. Type O. I'll leave it purple on the other side. <clears throat> well, these might look a little weird. So I hope everybody has a great holiday for us, the USers, my, my viewers. Huh. Okay, these are a little different. See that there? All right, so we're gonna have to hold off on these, but I'll be right, right back. We're back. Alter. So I got some of the uh, same ones that are on the standard um, Tamias the Super Grips, and they should work with any luck. And then that'll be that. We'll uh, so next time you'll see me, it'll be another. This will just be a quick video. The next time you'll see me, we'll get 
that right there. Set up with this, and we'll put these tires on it and get her out for a test run. So, uh, like I was saying earlier, hope everybody has a great holiday. Um, Black Friday sales and all that. <laughs> Be careful of them scammers. This is going to work out good. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Look at that. It's a little recessed. But it'll do. It'll do. The other one on there and we'll be ready to roll that's not bad that'd be a nice combo on there like that you know not bad at all actually let's put these rears on just to see what they do Not sure how well this is going to handle either because this is more like a two wheel driver deal. But you know how I do. Whatever works. Whatever works. Not bad at all. So, next time you see this car, we'll uh, be working on the Jazz Riders. Hopefully, you dig. And I want to thank um, Test Driver for the nice set of wheels. And we'll find something to put these on. These take a different kind of rim. I'll figure it out. Anyways, like and subscribe, and uh, <laughs> I'll see you when I see you guys. And yeah, 100% acetone, two days, they just fall right off. I'll be doing a lot more now that I know. But that was my first time trying it out, and I didn't know what to expect, so it was, a, <laughs> it was a little different. I expected to have to do some work, and I didn't have to, so I'll take it. I'll take a win when I get it. So like and subscribe, guys, and uh, you'll see this out on the track soon.